sprayed it with some water, as you guys can see. Let me just make sure this guy still works. Okay, so... I don't know why I wanted, to, I wanted, wanted to set this camera up, but I'm going to try to do, again, some low light shooting. I seem to be in a, like a low light theme going on. So that's what, we're, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing a low light shoot. You guys will see how I'm setting it up. Thought I'd put this up here. I wish I had a time lapse feature, but it doesn't. So I'm just gonna record this and hopefully go as quickly as I can to set it up. So let's go. Let's freaking do this, bro. <laughs> So I think this is where we're gonna start. I always start off these these photo shoots kind of like with like a basic idea. I know before, if you guys remember, the thumbnail that I had for this guy for the this is the 5D. The thumbnail review. It was kind of something like this. There was a light behind it. Oh, see, does that look familiar? Yep. So I'm gonna recreate that, and then I might put the backlight behind, which was this light right here. This little light was behind it. And then I'm gonna spray it with some water. Doing this as a, as a challenge for, I don't even know what her name is now, Ember. The Amber, Ember challenge, I think. Okay, so yeah, doing this for, for a challenge on a YouTuber's channel, Facebook thing. Okay, yeah. You have to do something with water in your camera. So I figured I'd use the 5D because the 5D is water se weather sealed, which means it's not weather resist, water resistant, which means it's not waterproof, but I have, Work the 5D in like a misty rainish thing, and it's been okay. So uh, I'm just gonna spray it with some water and see what we get with that. Gonna try to do some reflections with water, but we'll see how that turns out. So I'm gonna use the 24 to 70 f 2.8 on here, and let's see what kind of photos I get just with this setup, and then I'll show you guys how I build around my original. I see something in my head, then usually as I start shooting, I change some stuff. So. Let's get to that. So this is where we are right now. I sprayed it with some water, as you guys can see, probably. There we go. Okay, so I got that, and then I brought the light a little bit closer, if you can see that. It was here. I brought it right there. And then I think I might try out my next idea pretty soon. Let me just make sure this guy still works. Okay. Uh, oh, it's still going. <laughs> I got a little nervous there that it wasn't working, but it is. And the battery was dead, so we're all good. So that's what's happening so far. I might try out my second idea. Okay, so I got this little thing. You're gonna see what this is for in a second, but I'm getting some reflections as you can already see from back here. So I'm gonna wrap this in gaff tape, and I hope that that will, that I hope that that will take care of my problem. Okay, so here's what I came down to. Uh, so yeah, here's what I came down to. Here's the nice black sheet that I hung up. The 5D right there. We got a tray full, semi full of water gaff tape on the back to kind of cut down the reflections. It didn't really help as much as I would want it to. It'd be nice if I had just a big trough. You gotta deal with what you got, right? Right, okay. And then I put the tripod quick release stand right there just to make sure it wouldn't slide off and it is black so it kind of ties right in. You can barely even see it. Um, and then of course you got the light right here and there is no light in the back. I took that out because I don't think I really needed it. So. Here are what the photos look like, and uh, I think it's—I think it came out pretty well. I think it's what I'm looking for. Okay, so I pretty much forgot to shoot an outro. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a like, and I'll see you again next week Saturday.